Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. You know, God damn it, you know. What angers the hell out of me is the damn punctified preachers and leaders who know the truth but won't speak it for fear that something bad is going to happen to them. The moderate, in quotes, moderate Muslim leaders, they're all in trouble because the masses are rising and they want Islam but they want it in its pure form. So the Muslims started rising in Afghanistan and the Soviet Union did not want the Muslims to destabilize the socialist government so they sent their troops in to take over Afghanistan. Enter Osama bin Laden. I don't know exactly remember who was with me when I was in Pakistan in Islamabad and I met with the, that um, President Zia ul Haq and uh, I went into Peshawar where the Mujahideen were and we met with the leaders of the Mujahideen. Mujahid, it means a struggler, a person involved in a jihad or an intense struggle for God, for God. The Mujahideen that we met in Peshawar were fighting the Russians or the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. The United States said, well, we are God-fearing, Satan talking. And you Muslims are God-fearing and the Soviet Union is godless. So let's back the Mujahideen. So the CIA funneled money, weapons, information to the Mujahideen. And those are ancient warriors and they whipped the Soviet Union. And we could see the Soviets taking their tanks and getting out of there. But what happened, America promised that when the Soviet Union was defeated, that they would help the Mujahideen build, rebuild Afghanistan. But America is not interested in building any nation that will be true to Islam. So once the Soviet Union was defeated, America backed out on its promise, the Soviet Union collapsed and America became the only power in a unipolar world. Osama mad as hell. The Mujahideen mad as hell. So a civil war broke out in Afghanistan between the warlords who controlled the poppy the heroin traffic. You that snort and you that shoot up. Most of your heroin coming out of Afghanistan. Oh, oh, oh. 
so the Taliban arose in a civil war and they win and conquer Afghanistan cut off the poppy now let me tell you hey. did you know ain't got nothing to do with the Taliban and women wearing burqas this thing that covered a woman all up America acting like she's defending women and you walk in the street with your behind out ain't a damn soul saying nothing to you but you gonna defend women in Afghanistan who cover and you are uncovering your woman making her look like a prostitute ain't nobody saying nothing to you he's not a defender of the modesty of women he used that as an argument to sway the American people against the quote unquote Taliban. You know what the word Talib means? It means student. Taliban, the students of Allah, students of his word students of his prophet students of his way they don't want nothing but God's way that's the war that's going on in the world today is if you want to obey God over here if you want to keep doing the mess that you are doing over here and God intend to kill you did not hear me because you're not making no faggot out of the real God. He will wipe you from the face of the earth if you don't get your act together. God damn it, he ain't playing with you. So America saw they wanted to build an 876 mile pipeline from Turkmenistan through Afghanistan to Pakistan to the Indian Ocean and the Arabian Sea. They sent for the Taliban. They weren't talking about no burqas. They met in Texas. In 1997, UNOCAL, a Houston-based company bidding to build the pipeline of which your former Vice President Cheney is a stockholder. You know, God damn it, you know. What angers the hell out of me is the damn punctified preachers and leaders who know the truth but won't speak it for fear that something bad is going to happen to them. If you know the truth, speak it. And if you gotta die, damn it, die on the truth that you are man enough to speak. <laughs> 